blaster bottom end going back together. We got a bunch of junk everywhere. So I guess I'm gonna move my dirty ass dirt bike over here somewhere and start messing with it over here. So whenever I got the dirt bike, you see the way that this bolt right here is, how too many things going on in one hand. But this captures this whole washer type thing and this bolt right here screws in and then this whole cover, this cover and that bolt hold it in place. Well, on this side, right here, this bolt was over top of this little plate in that bolt. It was sitting on top of it. Like somebody didn't know what they were doing. They started messing with it. I don't know. I really don't know what's going on. So, <clears throat> what I did was I just looked at, you know, looked online, see what was going on, see how it was supposed to be. And it just so happened that this is the way that it was supposed to be. I took the fatty pipe off. The other side was that way. I just matched it. And all that really does is if you look up inside here, I don't know. It's going to be hard to see, but there's a flap up there. The piston's kind of in the way, but there's a flap. And that holds the flap on both sides. So that whenever you have the bike or putting the power valve assembly together that way those two bolts go into the side of it and when they go in there they hold it in place so that it can pivot up and down on those that's what actually holds it in there so when the power valve itself opens up it moves it up and down and it sits on these two little slide bolts so I thought that maybe whenever they messed with it or whenever I did or whatever happened you know maybe that side fell off and cocked down I didn't know I was just checking to make sure and it still seems like it's in place all right so what I'm gonna do next is pull the carb off I was told maybe my float is messed up I don't know I was told it could have got bent down or bent up I'm gonna look at it I'm gonna see what's going on with it maybe it did get bent maybe it didn't I really don't know what I'm messing with I don't know what I'm trying to fix it's like the bike has no power at low rpm and I know it's a two-stroke bike you really don't get power until you hit the power band but at the same time I should be able to you know when I pop the clutch I should be able to get the front tire to come up or something or the back tire to spin but it's just like there's no power in the low end. It's only until I get third gear in the power band do I ever actually feel any power out of the bike. So I'm just going to pull the carb off and look. It looks like it might be leaking a little bit too from the bowl right here. I can see a little bit of moisture. It smells like gas, so... I'm going to pull it apart, see what I can do, see how the gasket looks and stuff like that. I might buy a carb rebuild kit, but see how that looks, I don't know. So I just took <clears throat> the car apart. I'm putting it back together right now, but I didn't see anything messed up with it. I didn't see anything that looked out of place. I cleaned the jets out again. I don't know. I was told that the float bowl could be bent out of place or whatever, and I don't think it was. I tried to adjust it so there's a seam on it and the seam is supposed to be parallel with this case right here of the carburetor and it all seemed fine to me it didn't seem like anything was out of place it didn't seem like anything was wrong so I just put it 
back. You know, I mean, I may have moved it a little bit. I may not have. It's, I really don't know what I did with it. I don't know what I'm trying to do with it either. But anyways, I put it back together. Everything seems to be fine on the bike. I mean, maybe the power valve needs adjusted. I think it's more along the lines of the carb needs to be rejetted. I don't know. The guy was like not wanting to get rid of it, but took a pretty good price for it. I don't know. It was worth more than what he was asking for, but it was like there was something wrong with it and he didn't know how to fix it, so he was just trying to pin it off on somebody else. But I'll get it all back together tonight. Probably won't ride tonight. I'll just probably put it all back together and then maybe tomorrow probably not it'll probably be this weekend i'll have some riding footage maybe a couple buddies will come over we'll all get together and i noticed this too there's a rip in the air box right there i think i can't tell if it's ripped because the air filter's right there which is a good thing it means the air's still going through the filter but i can't tell if it's ripped or not but i'll get it all put back together and maybe we'll ride this weekend i don't know i don't know if i'll post this video until we ride or not either so